When you're playing singles and your opponent approaches the net against you, there are three shots you can attempt. You can go for a lob, a passing shot, or simply hit the ball right to them. In this video, I'm going to show you when you should go for all three of those shots and stick around because I'm going to show you all of this in front of the big board. Now, first, this video is courtesy of the Hendy Tennis League down in Atlanta, Georgia. They always let me use their videos. So thank you so much, guys. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I've put their link in the description below. So let's watch this point and then we'll analyze it. So what's fun about this league is they always give the players crazy names. I love it. So the Flash, Ryan, is serving. The Hulk is receiving. And right here we have John in the yellow shirt attacking the net. So it's a good return that gets a weak reply by Ryan. And now John is going to come in and attack. One thing that I really liked about John's approach shot right here is how low over the net he hit. Um, it's really common that recreational players do not aim low enough uh, on an approach shot. The ball goes too high, and then it ends up going way long. So I really like how John hit this ball low over the net. It just makes sure that he's consistent. The ball goes in. Now, I want you to take note of Ryan's position right here. Look how far back he is. That's not necessarily wrong. If that's where he is, that's where he is. He He's trying to be far back, so maybe he has a lot of time to run down if John had hit his approach shot a little more to the sidelines. But the fact of the matter is Ryan is back here way behind the baseline. The shot that Ryan attempts, and it looks like he attempts because we can see the ball hit the bottom of the net. In fact, it, it hit the bottom of the net and actually scoots under the net and hits John in the leg. Um, but it looks like Ryan was trying to hit the ball right to John. That is one of the three shots you can go for when your opponent comes to the net. But what we want to know is where we are on the court to help us decide what to do. There's way behind the baseline. There's close to the baseline. And there's inside the baseline. Where you are will determine most likely the shot that you go for. So with Ryan being this far back behind the baseline, going for a passing shot would be low percentage. And even hitting it right to John wouldn't be the best idea because with Ryan being so far back, John's volley will most likely land short and then Ryan would not be able to go up and get that ball. So in this scenario, with Ryan being this far back behind the baseline, a lob is the best shot to hit. Now, what is the definition of a lob? Because it certainly is not a ball that goes over your opponent's head and lands behind them. That is not the definition of a lob. A lob is simply a high ball. And it, I, think is, I think it is that misunderstanding that leads to people hitting the wrong type of lob. Let me show you this in front of the big board because this will make perfect sense. When your opponent comes to the net, there's a specific lob you can hit that will force them into a ton of errors. Now, before I show you how to win more points when your opponent comes to the net, I want to share something with you that is going to help you win more singles matches. It's from Fuzziola Balls, Will Hamilton. It's called the New Rules of Singles. It's strategy after strategy that are going to help you beat your toughest opponents. You've got a whole list of strategies against certain types of opponents. Here's one right here, Rush the Forehand. And what's really cool is he has teamed up with Craig O'Shaughnessy, the leading stats guy in the entire world for both men's and women's singles and doubles. He's crunched the numbers. He knows what's working on the pro tours right now and their strategies that you can use in your local leagues. To grab the new rules of singles, you can do one of two things. First, you can just go to the app store and grab the Fuzzy Yellow Balls app in your app store on your phone or you can click the link, it's in the description. I'm also gonna pin it in the first comment. And if you're looking for people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, maybe you wanna find a league at your level, or you wanna find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Play Your Court, and it's playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. All right, your opponent comes to the net. Let's say you're really far back behind the baseline like we saw with Ryan. When you're really far back behind the baseline, hit a lob. But what type of lob? A really high lob 
over the backhand side, so if they're right-handed, that's on this side, but you're not trying to make the ball land behind them. If you're trying to always, whenever your opponent comes up, whenever you try to lob and you're trying to make it go over their head and land behind them, it's gonna go out. That's why if most of your lobs land a little bit long, it's because you have the wrong definition of a lob. You're trying to get it over their head and get it to bounce. It's better to force an error than to hit a winner. Let me say that again. It's better to force an error than it is to hit a winner because forced errors, forcing your opponent into an error, it's repeatable. Your, your opponent isn't a pro tennis player. It's pretty easy if you hit the right shot to force an error. So just think of lobbing really high into the air and heck, just make your ball land right there. As the ball is descending, it is gonna be so uh, difficult for them to handle. And don't think, oh, well, they're just gonna let it bounce and then crush it. How many of your opponents are out there practicing really high balls, letting them bounce and then hitting overheads off of them? I would say 0% of them. It's not a shot that people even practice, so don't be afraid of them even attempting it. Hit a really high lob over their backhand side and just make it land somewhere near even the service line or slightly back into no man's land and you're gonna force them into a ton of errors. Now we talked about the three different shots you can hit when your opponent comes forward. The lob is one of them. If you're up by the baseline, that's a more neutral situation. So if you're up by the baseline, it's not a bad idea just to hit it right to them. And off of an approach shot, they're usually around the service line, so there's a lot of room to get that ball down to their feet. If you're inside the baseline, that's a great time to go for the pass. So if your opponent comes in and you're way behind the baseline, lob super high. Lob, lobbing high is more important than lobbing deep. You'll force more errors with a high lob. If you're around the baseline, hit it right to them. Half the time they screw up the volley, right? The other half you'll get a weak ball. And then when you get that weak ball and you're inside the court, go for the passing shot. Knowing what to do when your opponent comes to the net and not panicking, but just realizing where, where am I on the court? Am I inside the baseline? Am I on the baseline? Am I behind the baseline? If you know where you are and you go for the right shot, there's no doubt. You're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.